Friday night. And this is a little thing I'm going to read. I'm going to send this to the world. I'm going to decide to show YouTube first. Just done a great rabbit top. Okay. Hi, dudes. Today, I rehearsed my Cronus religious story. And I was the narrator because it was my own contribution to the play. And the people were having, a, having fun acting it out. And dude, I am learning how to read in time with the actors. You see, dudes, I would love to have a movie from me in so many fields on the box, you see. I was reading the killing dinosaur part of the story and the Hansel and Gretel being taken by the witch part of the story. As well, I felt like a star! Yeah. I will one day bring all my magic to stage and screen and make heaps of money, 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 money to save the world and give homeless people homes today. Two of the guys were recapturing their youth by playing, by playing with toys as I read the story to them and this is going to look fun. Just because you are adults, it doesn't mean they can't play with toys. And I suggested putting, by that, putting a wig on when I play my young dude or a cool cap turned around, you know, the late Hewitt look. I can't help if I look young. I try and look after myself. I believe in cool, man. Anyway, the late and human look might not work, but a wig might work. Great, too. And this play is different. But, dude, it's going to be ace. You know, seeing Hansel and Gretel story going to the underground and afterwards the David and Goliath fight and the Sinek debate of John the Baptist, I wrote this story I especially love that I made Hansel a sports boy. Then at the end, I narrate, and a cast member is going to mend each blade of grass. You see, mate, I suggested that someone should play Buddha, jumping up, saying, I am free, buddy, or something like that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. I was pretty radical, dude. Okay, catch you later. Bye-bye.